right, welcome to American Dream Garage. Today uh, we're going to do a video on uh, brake issues. So I'm standing next to a 1969 uh, Camaro Z28. Um, driving it the other day, I noticed the brakes pull to the right. And so brought it in, checked the brakes, the pads were fine, uh, bled the brakes or at least attempted to bleed the brakes. Uh, left side bled fine, this side, uh, the passenger side really didn't, so pulled the bleeder valve out. Uh, it was full of crap, that's all I can say, rust, and cleaned it out. Was able to bleed a little bit, but then it was full of stuff again. So, uh, make a long story short, took it to a place to have the uh, uh, brakes bled, I'm sorry, the brake fluid flushed, and they found residue in the brake uh, booster, they found uh, the brake reservoir, and they uh, drained the brakes, and uh, this, this brake in particular, very, very slow. Um, put in new fluid, uh, bled them, only using their vacuum pump would not get it, only manual pumping uh, of the brake, the pump up the brake pressure would get anything out of this wheel. And e even at that, it was marginal, the flow out. So anyway, I didn't know uh, brake, brake lines can deteriorate from the inside out or just in the inside. So. Most likely, they, be they believed that the brake lines had deteriorated inside and were restricting the flow of brake fluid. So we're going to uh, change the brake lines and see what we find when we take those, at least the front brake lines off. Thanks. Okay, welcome back to American Dream Garage. So, uh, replace the brake lines and uh, the, the uh, brake fluid's flowing out of them very nicely. And uh, I took the right side off, cut it, and air was moving through uh, the, the, basically the entire hose. It felt fairly unobstructed. But the left side, I had to do some dissection to it and basically narrowed it down to these two sections, which I can't actually see the collapse, but air doesn't move through it. Uh, very well, nor did the wire that hung up. So I'm assuming there's uh, uh, a, a constriction of some type in there or it's hanging up and catching uh, sediment. Um, but basically the rest of the hose was fine, but it was, it was these two areas, which I had been told that they can collapse. So anyway, um, new learning for me. Uh, maybe a new learning for you, uh, that one, I think, uh, the importance of changing brake fluid um, or flushing brake fluid was became apparent uh, when I did that and found, you know, a lot of sediment and, and, and crud in there and that the, the rubber brake lines, even though they may look okay, uh, can uh, uh, corrode or uh, constrict over time uh, and the rubber may go bad and cause uh, a break to pull so that was obviously the issue so we're all set thanks for joining me in American Dream Girl.